Ferro. Hello, my Aquarian friends. Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's coming in for you guys this week. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenge in beginning. Life experience. This is the tower, my friends. A significant life event. Powerful revelation that leads to change. It's time to spread your wings. So there's some area where you've been stuck. But they're seeing the truth of a situation coming your way. So, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius energy here. Oops, trying to straighten the camera. My apologies. All right, straighten the camera. Tell me about, oh, because so all y'all might be wanting to straighten your focus. It's like your focus is crooked or your focus is weird. You might, you might need to really straighten your focus and decide what's important. There's a lot going on though. Seven of Swords. Could be lying, cheating, stealing. Typically, that's what that card means, but it's also about self sabotage, getting out while the getting's good. A challenging beginning. Someone's mind isn't right. Someone's mind's not right about something here. Two of Wands. There's a there's a change in trajectory. Something happened, which is creating a change in a path, and it's because a person is on a path perhaps they shouldn't be so the divine needs to create this change and it will bring absolute happiness it could have something to do with a leo perhaps if you've had a leo as a child or whichever they're going to be coming back into your life uh aries leo sagittarius energy someone here in business is like a business starter or somebody that wants to create a business perhaps you have a child who's grown wants to join business with you and they very well may have lots of ideas. And you're like, well, we've got to nurture this one thing. And they're like, no, no, no. You need to put a whole bunch of things into play or whole, have an idea and put everyone else in play to do that. This is the female entrepreneur is very different than the male entrepreneur. The male entrepreneur is very much about uh, putting his effort in to nurture many different things at once, having the many different things. She's like grabbing an idea working on it nurturing it like for 16 days maybe even just 16 months and then putting other people in place to go take care of it it's like the solid builder of the future whereas the king of wands is does all these things at once and it may take him longer to build but what he amasses in a certain amount of time a lot of times can be a lot more epic Anyways, so someone has new ideas about how to move forward in business and there's something coming, a choice you have to make. It's going to make you incredibly happy. Someone incredibly beautiful is in your life and it could be someone that's different than anything you've ever seen. This opportunity coming in, I believe, is going to blow your mind. Eight of Pentacles is about having the opportunity to sit down and put the work in. Someone could be starting a clothing company. You could be involved with that. That's the same as... Uh, one of the water sign readings, I can't remember. You've got fire energy all over your reading though. I can tell you that much. It's going to take massive strength for you to believe, for you to trust, for you to move forward with this, stepping past that line of fear into the front lines of your life. So there is change upcoming. It could be that someone's pregnant or the birth of a child is coming your way through a Leo. Perhaps you're going to be a grandparent. There's so many different things that this can mean. But it will be moving forward at a fast pace. You definitely will be moving forward at a fast pace. And I believe good news is going to come that helps bring this fast, this fast, mm, ready to go attitude. This fast, ready to go thing. What's the joining energy of the whole situation? What's the joining energy of the whole situation? <laughs> Hangman mode. I, I chuckle because it's like fast, 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 and then stop. It's like that that um, stop, stop, go, go thing we used to play as kids. Okay, so like I'm 50 and older, so you know, I I remember these old games. Anywho, 
red light, green light, stop, 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 go. So someone could be giving you this idea or something to do, a change to plans, makes you incredibly happy. This journey that you're on is going to bring you fulfillment and it's going to create fast forward movement. But there's something in you telling you <laughs> No conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. And that's difficult to do when you're dealing with a fire sign who wants to get on it and move. They want to get on it and move. But something within you, you're honoring yourself. You're honoring your intuition. You're honoring how the divine is leading you. And that is a beautiful thing. That's a good thing. You really need to do that. So that's good. Perhaps you want to reach out to somebody who's a fire sign and... Uh, somebody that you view is incredibly beautiful but it could be some sort of idea about a lack of money and finances that's stopping this up I got to put in the solitary work still and what I'm doing in order to have the courage to build this new thing and birth this new process to move forward fast but the divine is also saying I am the angel of abundance and I'm with you um, I'm the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So they want you to have faith in yourself, faith in others, trust that the divine has got you. Yes, in certain circumstances, it might not be the way to go because you're facing the end of a cycle right now. So starting the new cycle, there's, there's usually one foot in one paradigm and one foot in another. So a new cycle started, one foot there, one cycle still in the old. So you're feeling like it's not time to completely go yet. The divine has opened the portal for you to go through. They're asking you to trust them about the finances. All of this beautiful energy over here, and there is beautiful energy over here too. But conditions aren't favorable. It very well could be they'll be favorable soon. Let's find out how long until they're favorable to move how long until they're favorable wow very soon the ace of swords right on top of there challenging information seeing the truth of the situation so i think that you might have been oh, it's hard to say you're seeing things in a different light there's an intuitive nudge that you're getting that's telling you oh something more is going on behind the scenes here you're at an absolute crossroads of deciding which way you want to go tell me about the world card that's a challenging truth is that that it's just not not quite time yet the end of the cycle will bring you absolute wishes granted it's like a it, but it's a singular wish. So someone very well may be choosing to go it alone in order to end this cycle. They may choose to leave some things behind, but it is a singular wish. It's a wish granted for you, not the people around you. Tell me about the money. Wow, marriage? Are you kidding me? Some of all y'all might be getting married or your marriage is in, in the flux, so is in flux or in a flow of not sure which way to go not sure what to do where to put the money into things maybe as a couple you're looking at investing someone's thinking about ending a cycle with a home or a marriage but they're trying to to smooth things over before they move into the next there's definitely fear and concern about money god is saying trust that you will have the money that you need this also could be about uh building a home wanting to build a home perhaps you're a home builder or you like building homes and then moving into that home or even flipping homes whichever it is there will be the money for you definitely the money will be there for you god is in charge of how that will happen this is absolute celebration when this money comes in and i would say it's to bringing a home together in some sort of way tell me about the strength card what's the strength card all about yeah, the strength card to encourage to actually get out while the getting's good. The strength to take what you know and move on from the situation. Is that it? Or the strength to understand that somebody actually might be pulling the wool over your eyes. The strength to face it and move forward with the truth. What is the Eight of Pentacles about putting in the work towards what? Singularly. Someone might be putting in the work to a person on the side 
a job on the side and find out that somebody else is pregnant. What is this mother energy about? Well, it's too many cards. Just one, please. What is the mother energy about? Hmm. Someone could be four months pregnant. Someone could be wanting to invest their mother's money. Some mother may be asking them to invest their money. The cancer card. The uh, fast forward movement. Someone's got some ideas about manipulating a situation into making it what they want it to be in order to have the money, in order to have the fast forward movement. But they're holding on to money behind the scenes. And if this is a marriage situation or even a company situation, I would definitely look between the lines. There's challenging information that could come your way that is a change to plans here. If this is definitely a company situation or whatever, dealing, selling a home or coming together with a company, there is lack of money. I think they're, they're sitting there looking like they're ready to burst at the seams, but in actuality, they're tight. They're holding on to finances. So if they're saying they got all the money in the world, I don't know if that's a, a true factor. <laughs> Hanged man energy, asking the divine for clarity about it all. Hang out with your friends, go out and have fun, enjoy. There could be third party interference that's going on behind the scenes. Tell me about this other woman, the queen of wands. Marriage, well, there's the marriage partner. I wonder if someone's marriage material. Long term commitment. This person is having an idea change about their spiritual foundation. This is about government. It could be about government. It could be about higher law, higher court, court of Queen's bench. This is a, the patriarch of a company. So not the person who runs the company, but the person who founded it. Something to do with the person who founded a company. Wanting to build and create sun card, good news coming in that's going to make you incredibly happy. So right now as it sits, the time is not correct. Challenging information coming in changes to plans, but it doesn't mean that's a negative. The changes to plans could be because of this, you know, mental fuckery that's going on over here. Someone wants to get out while the getting's good. Some sort of nefarious nonsense going on behind the scenes and it's broken your heart previously and I think there's fear it'll do it again. Toxic thing you can't get away from. Could be dealing with Capricorn in some way. Two of Wands. Tell me about this Two of Wands. There's some concern about money, about people coming together, about marriage, all that sort of thing. There's There definitely could be a Virgo and a Capricorn in the mix. Or simply Capricorn. Someone's got a solid fa financial foundation. But I think if they, if this is about a wedding or building a home, they feel that if they do so, then it's going to cause a financial crooks in the situation. That's what I'm getting. If this is about another company or the merger of a company or company coming together and, and one of them is saying, man, you know, I got lots of money and I'm this, I wouldn't necessarily believe that crap. I wouldn't believe it. Someone might be working hard. But I don't know. It almost seems like there's been some lying or shady shit on both sides of the fence here. Here you are, ending the cycle and being in your happiness above it all. <laughs> Action. Wow, this came out for the last one, too. Stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. Step into your power, my friends. Get on it. Movement creates the magic. Challenging information a lot of times creates a change in trajectory. No conditions aren't favorable right now. So look into other options. And as soon as you figure out that conditions aren't favorable and you cut out the crap in that circumstance, that's when you're able to move forward. Blessings to you.